One place where we are losing species at an enormous rate is in the oceans. Throughout the world, coral reefs, complex ecosystems that house a wide variety of plants and animals, are losing species that haven't even been discovered or identified. Coral reefs are made up of coral polyps, tiny soft-bodied translucent animals related to sea anemones and jellyfish. Their hard skeletons are made of limestone, which attract certain other aquatic species that give the coral polyps their wide variety of rich colors. When the polyps attach to rocks on the sea floor, they reproduce by dividing and growing, connecting to one another to create a colony that acts as a single organism. As colonies grow over hundreds and thousands of years, they join with other colonies and become reefs. Some of today's reefs started 50 million years ago, and these reefs are dying due to the three main culprits in the devastation of the world's oceans, overfishing, pollution, and climate change. There are about 20,000 known species of fish, though there may be many more we don't know about. Occasionally, a new fish is discovered. There may also be fish that are disappearing without our ever knowing that they existed. Nothing is certain in the ocean. Fish that were said to be plentiful have suddenly disappeared. Fish that were said to be extinct have been discovered alive, most dramatically in 1938, when a coelacanth, a fish thought to have died out with the dinosaurs, turned up on the deck of a South African trawler. The list of 20,000 fish species that came out of the 1988 Conference of Biologists, in which the term biodiversity was first coined, is constantly being revised. Fish disappear and new ones are discovered. But there is one certainty, something huge, a massive shifting in the natural order of the plant, planet is occurring in the oceans and it will come with tremendous biological and social changes. This shift, the disappearance of species, is also happening on land. We are losing large numbers of species that inhabit tropical rainforests, for instance, because these are being cleared for people to live in <clears throat> or chopped down for lumber at unprecedented rates. Mammals and reptiles all over the world seem to be vanishing. Some scientists have predicted that by the year 2100, up to 14% of all bird species may be extinct. And other scientists have concluded that one-fourth of all mammals, a third of amphibians, and 42% of all turtles and tortoise species also face extinction. A recent report by scientists said that if commercial fish fish species, the fish caught for food, continue to decline at the current rate, by the year 2048, most commercial fish species will be in danger of never recovering because of a lack of diversity in the ocean. The United States government said in a 2002 study that one third of the 274 most eaten types of fish are threatened by too much fishing. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization says this is true of almost two out of every three types of fish they've studied in the world. The oceans are in serious trouble. I'm going back to the picture of the coelacanth. Humorist Ogden Nash called the coelacanth our only living fossil. Although it may seem like 20,000 known species of fish is a lot, it's actually not that big a number when considering there are 550,000 known mollusk species and 751,000 known species of insect. And now the picture of the megamouth. In 1976, the megamouth, a hitherto unknown species of shark, was discovered when the 14 foot long, 1,600 pound giant tried to eat the stabilizing anchor on a United States Navy vessel near Hawaii.